When it comes to calf nutrition, from birth to weaning, I like to think about it as three key focus areas. Number one, getting those calves off to a great start in terms of growth. Number two, ensuring that we've got effective rumen development. And number three, making sure that we've got successful weaning. To achieve our first step, the most important feed for these little babies is, of course, milk or calf milk replacer. We would be looking at feeding milk or milk replacer at a rate of up to 20% of birth body weight. So for a 40 kilo calf at birth, we would be looking at getting them up to eight liters per day. The trouble is that if we keep feeding milk at that high rate, the calves will grow and they'll look beautiful, but we won't achieve our third objective of successful weaning. In order to get the calves to continue growing effectively after we've weaned them, we need to make sure that their rumens have been developed. It's important to remember that these calves, as, as babies, aren't really true ruminants. In order to develop that rumen and the microbes within the rumen, in order that they can effectively digest pasture after weaning, we need to ensure that we've got an, the inclusion of a 20% crude protein calf starter. For more information, click the link below or talk to your local technical field representative at PG Wrightson.